nothing quite like the sound of the organ. And for many years, when it came to church music in New Zealand, this was it. Today, all that has changed, and Christian music runs the gamut of musical styles from country to new wave. 3,000 people recently gathered at the banks of the Otaki River to enjoy the main stage music festival. Settle back and enjoy the weekend. the main stage so that we could show to people from all over New Zealand what's happening in the Christian music scene. Well, I think we're trying to do a couple of main things. One is to draw together Christian musicians and uh, dramatists from around the country and give them an opportunity to focus skills and to sh share with one another and also for the um, audience as well to bring people together to be exposed to good Christian music in New Zealand. 
We want to, on the long term, build up a creative arts festival. This year we didn't want to bite off too much, uh, so we decided we'd start with music, do what we're strong at, and then expand in future years. Well, it's, I think it's a, it's a big plus for the, uh, for the New Zealand industry, uh, the, the Christian recording industry, and uh, for performers generally. Um, I guess it'll achieve a, a sense of, of unity amongst musicians, um, a feeling of strength, and uh, perhaps give people courage to, uh, to do their own thing and to, to branch out into recording, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm the stage manager, for those of you who don't know, this meeting is already behind time. If you haven't already read the schedule outside, which was posted on the notice board, we're running, running very tight for time. There's some few basic principles I need to go over. Before I do that, I'll introduce some key people to you in terms of where your band members should relate later on. For example, Mike Hooker, is he here? Mike up the back is our keyboard roadie. In terms of sound, we have two people to relate to in terms of sound. They are Mike Hedges and Barry Culver. Okay, in terms of rehearsals, if you have read the schedule, each group is allowed 15 minutes on stage. And as, as at this afternoon, I will run my stopwatch and you only have 15 minutes on stage. From the time you get on, set up your gear, to the time you get off. So it means, in reality, you can only rehearse portions of two or three of your songs. From our point of view, we'd prefer you to rehearse maybe portions from your more complicated numbers so the guys can get a better balance. I think it's something which is well overdue in New Zealand. Um, it's just really amazing, it's happening, it happens in the secular world and here it is the Christian world. Um, oh, I have to have a good time and meet lots of people and listen to some good music. Well, the, the main thing is to, um, to build a little community um, and really get close to each other and just have a really good time listening to the music and um, getting to know what 1,970 other people. Oh, lots of music, maybe a little bit of gospel, that sort of stuff. Maybe a few uh, girls might meet somebody. Good question. I don't really know what to expect. Um, I just sort of want to hear some good bands play and hear them praise the Lord and you know, really, really have a good time. Good time. Probably exciting. I think it's a good, already it's a good atmosphere, you know. Just the people around, it just seems really friendly, you know. Something different in a camp like this. I see the different sweet waters or something like that. Just to listen to music and have lots of fun. Oh, because there um, should be some good music this weekend and um, come down, meet a whole lot of my old friends and things like that. To listen to the music, to enjoy myself, to have a good time? I don't know, it's quite exciting really. It's sort of everyone's bubbling and um, quite sort of um, excited, I think, about what's happening and meeting new people and listening to some good music and sort of the unexpected really. I think anything is, is going to happen. Oh, there's a whole bunch of us coming and I don't want to miss out on anything exciting. <laughs> Go for it, yeah. <laughs> Right on my tears When I want it so 
The music, the, the you know, music should be secondary to the to the message, and um, I tend to think if if I really agreed with that, I guess I would I would um, probably write poetry instead of play music. And I think music is something that expresses things that uh, words can't, and, and um, as a result, uh, we sort of put uh, absolute emphasis on both. And um, there can't be any area that's just sort of let, uh, left lacking, you know, as far as we're concerned. And, uh, uh, music is a great way to put them together, I guess. It, it's, it's a great way to say things. tend to labour over lyrics more than we do over the music side of things. Uh, we find them a real pain to come up Simply with something. Simply because it's so difficult. Yeah, yeah, we find it so difficult. None of us are sort of really gifted lyricists and so we sort of work a lot on that and write and rewrite and rewrite and until they're right. And, uh, not because we necessarily find them more, more important than the music, but because we're just not very good at it. <laughs> I really think uh, there's so many things opening up now in terms of uh, quality of recording, uh, acceptance in venues. Um, I think the future is bright as long as uh, Christians, however they express their music, um, get real and uh, understand that the world really wants to hear good music and good positive things. I guess it's a rather subjective thing deciding who are the best Christian artists in New Zealand. I have heard most of the artists, or I've had um, videos or demo tapes, just looked at them all and decided who I thought would be the best. We've had a lot of people writing to us, sending us tapes, asking to be on. Probably only a third of those we've been able to put on. In fact, if anything, we've had too many bands here and many more that we could have used. I think Christians are realising that the arts is very important. I think there have been times in the past when um, the arts have been seen as something not to touch. I think that's changing. People are seeing the arts are a very important part of life and Christian life. I've seen bands this weekend like Jamboree who are really cutting into the uh, secular field. They're all Christians. I think that um, Christian music, contemporary Christian music, is, is a growing thing. I think we're going to see people of all um, persuasions becoming far more aware of it and um, buying records and so forth of Christian musicians. Thank you. Excellent. Run, run. Best date on the calendar for the year, I reckon. I don't know, it's just, it's just been all brilliant. I, you know, I think it's been fairly 
top quality bands. Um, I thought the Velvets were really brilliant last night, really good entertainment. But um, I think it's just a really good thing for the Christian Christian circle. I reckon it's really hot, eh? I reckon if they don't have bands like this, it's, you know, Christians would be all mellow and wearing glasses. <laughs> we didn't really expect to be quite as primitive, the loser. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. it's, uh, I'm a bit surprised it sort of opened my eyes a little bit more, you know, it, um, to see that there's Christian music coming alive in New Zealand and, and guys getting out and doing it. It's excellent, excellent to see. Don't got to go to Guyana. I've seen it down on Colombo by the bridge at the corner. I think you ought to know Why do they look so unhappy? Why do they all look the same? Yeah They don't listen to nobody They do it what this one man do and what this one man say They're keeping up with the Jones Keeping up with the Jones Don't got to go to Guyana I've seen it out in the country A big family living together Why don't you come and stay? Why do they look so unhappy? Why do they all look the same? They don't listen to nobody but doing what this one man do and what this one man say. They're keeping up with the Joneses. They're keeping up with the Joneses. They're keeping up with the Joneses. And it frightens me to say. Who it frightens me to say. We're going to do something that must be fairly unusual in New Zealand and that's celebrate communion together and we are not quite sure how it's going to work. We'd like you to gather in groups, clusters of about 30 people, please. As soon as you have your group of 20 or 30 people, 
We'd like one person to come to the front and to take the elements, please, back to your group. This song is just a reflection of my yesterdays, an evaluation of my todays, and a projection of my tomorrow. Really simple, it goes like this. The sailboat sailing, a crystal sea. The gypsy dolphin, run free. Seagull circling endlessly. I hear them calling me home. The mockingbird butterfly, the sunset colors. How they fill the evening sky A newborn baby Starts to cry I hear him Calling me home I've been most everywhere Man can go up in this whole world round. Yes, I have. The night seen most everything a man can see. One thing I found, only thing I've ever found. When I was lost and all alone I took a look back on everything I'd done You know the only love I've ever known Was calling me Calling me Calling me Hurry, I'm calling me home. I'm going home, going home, going home. 
Hey, we're going, we're going home.